everyone. I hope you can hear me, but I found another beautiful spot to say our prayers together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's enjoy a little of God's beauty as we just sit and watch. Friends of Andres from the Marion Center, do you see him driving a boat? Say something, Andres. You see me driving a boat, you guys? Are you having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. You guys, you guys should like it. All of you. Welcome back to our virtual classroom. Today, I have got a super duper surprise for you. First, we're going to learn about dolphins, and then you're going to have to hold on to your seats because you're not going to believe what we're going to have in community outreach class. So let's get started. The following is an educational video from the National Dolphin Research and Sanctuary. And then after the video, I will reveal your super duper surprise. In 1985, three researchers on a dolphin studying expedition got a little bored. To lighten things up, one pretended to be Poseidon by placing a seaweed garland on his head and then throwing it into the ocean. Moments later, a dolphin surfaced with the seaweed crowning her head. Sure, this could have been a coincidence, but it's also entirely possible that the dolphin was mimicking the scientist. That's because dolphins are one of the smartest animal species on Earth. So exactly how smart are they? Like whales and porpoises, dolphins belong to the group of aquatic mammals known as cetaceans, who comprise 86 different species and share a common link with ungulates, or hoofed animals. Originally land mammals, the first cetaceans entered the water about 55 million years ago as large predators with sharp teeth. Then, a shift in ocean temperatures about 35 million years ago reduced the availability of prey. 
One group of cetaceans who survived this disruption, the odontocetes, wound up smaller with less sharp teeth, but also larger and more complex brains that allowed for complex social relationships, as well as echolocation to navigate and communicate. Jump ahead to the present, and modern dolphins' brains are so large that their encephalization quotient, their brain size compared to the average for their body size, is second only to humans. Dolphins have evolved to survive through their ability to form complex social networks that hunt, ward off rivals, and raise offspring together. For example, one group of Florida dolphins practices a sophisticated form of cooperation to hunt fish. A dolphin designated as the net maker kicks up mud, while another gives the signal for the other dolphins to simultaneously line up and catch the escaping fish. Achieving a goal like this requires deliberate planning and cooperation, which in turn requires some form of intentional communication. Dolphins pass down their communication methods and other skills from generation to generation. Different dolphin populations exhibit variations in greetings, hunting strategies, and other behaviors. This sort of cultural transmission even extends to tool use. One group of bottlenose dolphins off the Australian coast, nicknamed the Dolphin Sponge Club, has learned how to cover their rostrums with sponges when rooting in sharp corals, passing the knowledge from mother to daughter. Dolphins have even demonstrated language comprehension. When taught a language based on whistles and hand gestures, they not only understood what the signals meant, but that their order had meaning, the difference between bringing the ball to the hoop and bringing the hoop to the ball. So they were able to process two of the main elements of human language, symbols that stand for objects and actions, and syntax that governs how they are structured. Dolphins are also one of the few species who pass the mirror test. By recognizing themselves in mirrors, they indicate physical self-awareness. And research shows they can recognize not just their bodies, but also their own thoughts, a property called metacognition. In one study, dolphins comparing two sounds could indicate a same, different, or uncertain response. Just like humans, they indicated uncertainty more often with difficult trials, suggesting they're aware of what they know and how confident they feel about that knowledge. But some of the most amazing things about dolphins are their senses of empathy, altruism, and attachment. The habit of helping injured individuals extends across the species barrier, as evidenced by the many accounts of dolphins carrying humans to the surface to breathe. And like us, dolphins mourn their dead. So are you ready for your big surprise? As a special thank you to all our community outreach participants who worked really hard on those videos and all the clients of the ADT for staying connected and being so brave during this difficult quarantine time, I have adopted a pet for our community outreach class. A dolphin named Luna from the Dolphin Research Center in Marathon Key, Florida. And here she is. Meet our new class pet, Luna. We should be receiving our adoption certificate, some pictures and some informational packet any day now. But until then, I wanted to share a little bit of information they've already sent me. Her name is Luna. Her parents are Pandora and AJ. She was born January 29th, 2010. Her defining traits are small ripples in the trailing edge of her dorsal triangular dorsal fin. She has a moon-shaped birthmark above her right flipper. Luna was born not just under a full moon, but the second full moon that month, making it a blue moon and inspiring her name. Interestingly enough, she also has a moon-shaped birthmark above her right flipper. She definitely gets her curiosity from her mother, Pandora and is fearless with new objects. She enjoys athletic behaviors such as her banana jump and also the mental challenge of various research games. 
she will go out of her way and the spotlight always shines on her, either grabbing her trainer's attention or that of guests as they walk by her lagoon. Her nickname is Looney Tunes. I wonder what she's saying to us. Do you know what she's saying? Let's try and guess. And those are pictures of Luna. So we can watch Luna from time to time on the live cam and get updates on her latest progress. The adoption comes with two yearly passes, so I can go see her some weekends and check up on her take photos, and let you know how she's doing. Marathon Key is far from Miami, but it's not too, too far from my home. From my home, it's about 70 miles. We will also receive the following with our adoption. An annual subscription to the bi-monthly Dolphin Newsletter, free admission to the Dolphin Research Center, which is in Marathon, a one-time free pass for one to share with family and friends, access to the members only section on the website including pod updates what's new spotlight videos and more their newsletters and updates 10 percent off the gift shop and our full color adoption certificate color photograph and biography and a teacher curriculum cd which we will be able to work on in class pretty exciting huh i'm very excited about our new friend and i hope you are too Oh, and she's an artist like Cyrus. So perfect. Hi. Again. Uh, this topic, it's going to be about you and me and everyone we are very special right so some of these words are going to come up in the story and it's confidence different talent helping and disabilities okay we are all special just remember that as i'm reading we are all special okay so the first page, it says, you, I, develop confidence and self-esteem by knowing who you are and using your talents that makes you unique. Remember, you are special, okay? So let's keep them back in our mind that what makes us really unique and strong is the confidence self-esteem on yourself, positive thinking, right? Willing to just go and do your best on everything you do, right? Okay, so moving along. We all look different in many ways. We are all shaped differently and we have different color skin. Hair and eyes, right? And mouth and nose and facial structure, right? Weight differently, height, right? But no two people are the same, but each one are what? Special, that's right, we are special. It don't matter what color, right? It don't matter the color of your skin. It don't matter the size, it don't matter the height. It don't matter the nationality. We are special. 
right? We're all different on the inside, but we each have our own special personality. It's what makes a person interesting and, again, unique, right? What makes you special is who you are inside, and you bring it out, and you share it with others, right? Right? That's what makes us special. We bring out the inner gift, okay? Let's not keep our gift inside. Let's let it all out, right? And share it with our friends, right? personalities personalities it is show your personality when you just let everything out and you share your kindness your politeness right you're sharing right you're caring that makes your personality beautiful outstanding right that's what we have to learn to, to you know to be kind and nice to one another right because sometimes we tend to get you know, a little upset with each other, but you know what? We erase that, we let it go, and we go back into ourself, our goodness, right? Our goodness inside, right? Okay, now, some people have physical disability and needs to use wheelchairs, walkers, cane. It don't matter. Are they special? Yes. They're just as special as anybody else, okay? Disabilities are not disabilities, right? We're all special inside, right? And we have to treat each other with respect, right? And kindness, right? Each of us have a special talent. Talent, you guys are the best. It is important to fun, to try fun things and try different things. Until you find what you're looking for, what you're good at, right? And what you're best. So, everyone has something about them that makes them special. What makes you special? That's right. That's right. It could be just a smile. It could be just a hug. Right? It could be just your kind words. It could just be your caring heart. Right? Your loving words. Your respect for heart. Yes, that's what makes you special, right? And so at home, you can write all the stuff, what what makes you, you. You can write it down, write all the words. And also, you can write down hobbies. What are some of the hobbies you like or you would like to try, right? Okay. Now, these words right here, I am going to read. You develop Blank and self-esteem by knowing who you are. You develop what? Confidence. You develop confidence, right? And self-esteem. The other one is, we all look blank in many ways. Different talent helping a disability. There you go. We all look different in many ways. That's right. We all don't look alike. Unless you are a twin. Some people have physical disabilities and need to use wheelchairs. That's right. That's right. Wheelchairs, walkers, canes. It don't matter. And blank each other is a way you can share your talent and skills. Helping. Helping one another with each other. And you know, you guys, when we're in the Marin Center, what do we do? in the ADT, in the cottage, in the school building, right? We help each other. We help each other to better ourselves, to better our talents and our gifts, right? Guys, you are amazing. It's one thing to know that the biggest, biggest, biggest talents is what you do for someone else and bring it out, okay? Helping each other is a way you can share your talents and skills. It's also a good way to learn new and interesting things from other people. My talent might not be your talent. Your talent may not be my talent. But we can work together, right? We can help one another to better ourselves, right? 
everyone wants to feel that they are special. And we do. Is there someone you could tell how special they are? Can you call them on the phone and tell them that they're special? Or someone in your family that you really want to bring out and say, you know what, mom, dad, brother, sister, uncle, grandma, grandpa, uncle, sister, you're special to me. Tell them, tell them today how you feel, right? And of course, there are other things that you can try. So today, think about it. What are different things that you would like to try as a talent? Is it singing? Is it drawing? Is it playing musical instruments? Is it playing sports? Or just doing a show? A comedian show, a fashion show, right? What can you do that's different that you will like to challenge yourself? Go ahead, find that talent. It could be reading, it could be a poem, right? So guys, remember what I said, Miss Agnes said, we are all special, especially you. And today, I want you to do something special for someone you love, and write down the things that you want to challenge yourself as a new talent that brings you out, okay? So others can see the beauty in you. All right, guys, this is all for now. I love you. I miss you. And I will see you again with another topic. Take care. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Hello everyone, my Mary and family and friends. Today you're here with my friend Anna and my friend Angie. And today we are going to create a colorful jellyfish. And if you guys want to do it with us at home, these are the things you're going to need. Some construction paper, you can choose what color that you would like. You're gonna need scissors, tape, some glue, different color tissue papers to make it colorful, some ribbons, and if you need to draw, you're gonna need a pencil or marker of whatever color you wanna draw. And the girl's going to choose which colors they want. So you can choose at home also. So girls, choose your color. Take it. So once they choose their color, they're going to cut it out and put it on their other paper and then they're going to take the tissue paper and make it colorful by gluing it on it. So let's see if you're doing it at home and do it with us, okay? Yes. yes. Okay guys, so the shape that we're trying to create is like a jellyfish. So everyone at home, you can try to create your shape to make it similar to this or a little better if you can. And now the girls are going to start cutting theirs out. Let's try to stay on the line, girls. Okay guys, Anna and 
Angie have cut out their jellyfish. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the tissue paper and cut some out in little blocks or whatever shape you like because you're going to cover it in multiple colors. So the girls can start cutting. You can say yes and cut along. Get the scissors, Anna. Get the scissors. That's right. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can go straight up. Cut along here. Then you can start cutting little blocks. Let me show you one. I'll show you like this. You see? You can do that. That is my favorite color. All right. Gonna cut. Cut it like that. Just little blocks. Yep, yellow. So we're going to take the tissue paper, guys, and cover it. Okay, guys, so now we're putting glue and they're gluing tissue paper on. They have chose beautiful colors. So, I hope you're doing it at home. Doing great, girls. And guys at home, don't be afraid to overlap your tissue paper. It's going to make it look really pretty. The different colors. Great job, girls. Need more glue. Okay, guys. So now the girls are going to glue their jellyfish to the black. So they can have a harder space. So are you ready, girls? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Not too much glue. So can you flip it over gentle? Can you flip it over, Angie? Gentle. Need a little help? Yes. Okay. Can you press it down? You might need a little more to your corner, Anna. Okay. So now, girls. You're going to trace around, but you're going to come out a little bit, like around. Can you do that, Angie? I'm going to come around, like that, falling around. A little more out. Too close. Out some. Let's see. Good job, Angie. So 
So now they're going to cut around their jellyfish. Here's your scissors. Got to get some paper off of it. So try to cut on the line. On the outside of the line. Okay guys, now they're going to hang, they chose their ribbons. You can choose whatever color you want. So the girls have chose their colors. And now they're going to put it on the back of the jellyfish. So you flip yours over. You can either use tape or glue. Tape is a little less messy, guys, so it's up to you. So they're going to take a little piece and tape it on wherever they want, one by one. Get another color, Angie. Since you have that color, tape it on the other end. Okay, guys, so they almost finished. They're going to put their last ribbon on. Okay, both of you girls got it on. Now you can hold it up. Hold your jellyfish up. And guys, if you want to, you can put a little hole in the top to put a string if you want to hang it somewhere. Or if you want to put it somewhere, hold it up high, Angie. Looks pretty, right, guys? So I hope you guys came up with the same thing and yours look as good as these girls. Thank you for joining us in our little art project. Have a nice day and stay safe. Bye! Bye. Hi there, it's Miss Carol, and I have my helper here, Samantha. And this morning we're going to make a rainbow cloud. And she has been very busy earlier putting strips out. This, we have our, what we need, our cotton balls. We have our glue, our eyeballs, our mouth. And she is going to start here. I will put pieces of glue, of that strips, things of glue to glue the, glue the strips here. You want me to put it on where you put the strips? Okay, and we can start with our colors. I think, let's see, purple over here, you can put the purple, there you go, yeah, and now a blue, and they don't all have to be the same, the same height, because they're going to be, in a rainbow you don't always see them, and then we have to do a green, good job. And a yellow. Okay. And we need an orange. And a red. We have our beautiful colors of the rainbow. Okay. So when this is done, hopefully we'll be able to look up at the sky. This is like what we see after a little rainstorm and next she's got cotton balls so i'm going to put and we'll start putting them up here and i'm going to put glue all over here so you can just put just drop cotton balls any place in these piles of that's a girl yeah all the way to the edge so you can go all the way to the edge because this is going to be a cloud all over, even on top of here where the, to cover where the rainbow starts. That's a girl. Yeah. Because there's even sometimes when there's a rainbow, it comes out sometimes even after the sun starts shining. Right? 
Sometimes we see a rainbow in the morning early when the dew is on the grass. And we have plenty of cotton balls, so you can fill in all the spots. That's a girl. Keep putting them all over there where the glue is. We have plenty of cotton balls. Mm-hmm. There you go. Put them all down here because we want to fill up this cloud so we can put his happy face on there. Okay, let's take a break for a minute. Okay, so sometimes even when the sun comes out, even when the sun comes out, we don't, we don't see. Even when it's not raining, we see clouds in the sky. And we'll see rainbows coming down, right? Yeah. So it isn't necessary to we can keep putting. So we can keep putting these things on there. Here we go. Keep going here. Here. That's a girl. Here we go. Trying to fill up all here, sweetie. All the way down to here. Put a lot more on here. You can use both hands. Let's get this done here. Okay, Amanda, yeah. Amanda's finished getting her cloud in place. And the rainbow is almost done, but she wants to give it some eyeballs so we can see the beautiful earth below it. And she's gonna put her eyeballs on the cloud. So I'm gonna put glue on the back of your eyeballs. Where do you wanna put your eyeball? One there, okay. Pick up your eyeball. And press it down. Okay, where do you want to put the other one? That over here. There we go. And press it down. That's a girl. Now he's going to be a happy cloud. Happy cloud. Okay, going to put him in the middle. So let's see. We want to. We don't want to get glue all over everything. Okay, he's going to be a happy cloud. Amanda likes everything to be happy. Samantha does here. I don't want you to get... Sammy likes everybody smiling and happy. Okay, here, let me get this off here. There. That's a girl, and that'll dry up so it won't be there. And she's got a happy cloud. Samantha is an expert helper. Expert helper. A number one helper. Look at that cloud. I, I don't know if her eyeballs are dry. I don't know if I should take a chance to pick them up or not. But you can see it there on that video. And Sammy did an excellent job working that cloud. So, until next time... Maybe Sammy will have an idea to do something else to either go up in the sky or under the water. Thank all of you for watching. Stay happy and healthy, and God bless all of you. Bye. Hi, everyone. Hi. Today we have a class for the Spelling World. Amanda, he heard me about the Spelling. Are you ready, Amanda? Yes. Okay, what's the first one word you have, Amanda? Skip. What's it? Skip? Okay, can you spell to me? S-K-I-P. Skip. You, okay, you can write it here. S-K-I-P. Skip. Okay, the next one word? Rope. R-O-P-E. Rope.
Muff. M U S S. Muff. Two. T O. Run. R U N. And and A N D. And. So the next one word you have is football. Football. F O O T. B A L L. Okay. L O O T B A L L. The next one. The T H E. The. Scare. That's a score. Score. S C O R E. Score. S C O R E. Score. Pencil. P E N C I L. Pencil. Every. E V E R Y. Every day. D Y D A Y day day okay Amanda so thank you so much for coming to say bye for everybody bye we we'll see you soon see you soon we we'll miss you we miss you bye bye. Hi everybody, I have Angie, Anna, and Amanda there. As you can see, we have these muffins. They are the store bought, but we're gonna decorate them. So each of them is gonna do two muffins, okay? Different colors. So I never done this before. This is a teaching class, so I'm gonna learn it first. I'm gonna be teaching Angie first, and I'm just gonna try to do what I what I do, okay? Or better, you may be even better than me. So, behind me, I'm gonna push it as much as I can. All you do is push this here. See? You can do whatever you want. I'm not gonna do that, but it's all. Not at all. Go ahead, so you can fill it in. You have to push more. Mm -hmm. There you go. So. Look at that, you don't have the sun. Alright. Now see if you can do the chocolate by yourself. Okay, push out some more on here so you can get more. That'll go that way. Mm-hmm. Try to fill as much as you can on that. Mm-hmm. The muffins all around. I like the cake balls. Oh, so you know. That's a good way to learn. There you go. And if you want to do awesome. one of them, it's up to you or you want to leave it like that. <laughs> If you want to do it that, you want to try to smooth it out. I can try to smooth it. Oh, smooth one of them out. Try to smooth this one out. You don't have to pick it up. No, hold it with one hand. Try this one. Hold it with one hand and try to smooth it out. This is going to be a little different. Uh -huh. There you go. That's looking great. Very good. Alright, you want to put sprinkles on them? Yes. Okay. So, that was something that is fun for you. Here, sprinkles on here. Can I try another one? Can I try one? Can I try one? <laughs> <laughs> now, who's having more fun here? I think Celia. I have never asked. Uh, Miss Celia is doing an awesome job. Yay! <laughs> Decorating a cake or muffin never will. Really? Never. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Good. Now, some. Here, try to spread them around. The other one. That's too much, I think. Okay. So, you said that you have. All oh, right. Good job. It's never too much sprinkles. Oh, never. Too much? <laughs> okay. Never too much. All right. Good job, Andy. Okay. Awesome. Yay. Okay. You're you making the camera see? woman oh, hungry. Please, yes, soon. I've seen that. Great show. All right. Andy, come this way for Anna's turn. Come on, Anna. Come on, Anna. Right here, don't go too far. 
You got the white. This is Andy's. <laughs> so, you have a tissue? You, you think you know? You think you know, Anna? Okay. <laughs> I can do this at home too. Sure you can. Okay, so it's already on. It's already open, so. All you have to do is squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Here we go. Looking good, kiddo. Looking good? Looking good. The best part of the cupcake is the icing. So they say, I love whipped cream. Uh, oh, me too. Whipped cream, ice cream. Oh, I mean, not ice cream, but uh, the, the icing kind. Oh, yes. yes, I love chocolate oh, icing. You want to oh, it out? There you go. Good thing you don't have a chocolate. I sing here because I'd be looking at the bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna do one too because it's gonna be more. It's gonna be more. Uh... Look, I'm gonna show you. So if you do it like that, and then you grab it. You're gonna grab it. Look, you have to hold it with your hands. That's why you have the glove. And I guess you do like this. See? There you go. There you go. See? Okay. Sprinkles. The other one. I think silly likes to play with the cupcakes. Cupcakes. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna mix it and see what it looks like. Don't white then. There you go. You can mix your colors. You have a cloud. Yeah. That's a cloud cupcake. Yeah. Wow. Good name. <laughs> <laughs> now you, we have a cloud. Amazing. You could even make it like the American flag. You could take the red one, yeah, you could have the red. Different ones. Yeah. Absolutely. The imagination could yeah, run wild good. here. Okay. Ex excellent so, job. Over. Okay. Next. All right. And Amanda's up at that. So you can do one red and one, uh, one of these, and then the other ones you can combine, uh, combine the colors. Exactly. You can use your imagination. <laughs> Be creative, kiddo. Creativity is the best thing in the world. A more. Yeah. There you go. In the top. When you spread it, it comes out a little puffy. Hold on. Because you can't press it There you go. Okay. Do that one. Put it on like this and come down. There you go. Good job. Yeah, spread it now. I mean, you can come over here. It's okay. There you go. There. Okay. Light touch, light touch. So now, there you go. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Get your sprinkles. All right, good job. Now we're going to try to do uh, one with three, one with three uh, colors. So we're going to use, I'm going to show you how to do one and then the one for each of you, okay? I'll do one, and you can have an idea, okay? Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. You can even make a face. You can do I mean, anything you want. Face. I mean, if you can make a face, go right ahead, but I cannot make a face. Nobody can tell you that much. It's probably hard to, like, squeeze that, to be honest. No, it is. It looks it. It doesn't look easy. No. I mean, it's, it's not <laughs> nice. It's nice and soft. Yeah, it looks but like... Try to make a design out Right, of it. that's gonna be hard to control it. That's you're doing great, Celia. That's looking oh, great. Look at that. So, yeah, put a little bit of 
Got sprinkles, and you're all set. Awesome. Okay, now who wants to try next? And you want to try next? There's three more. Perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. You did good. There you go, huh? Okay. You want to start with the white first? Mm -hmm. You want the one line across? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your imagination saw? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Right? <laughs> so you have room for the four. So we have room for the three colors. Okay. That's awesome. Good. good job. Okay. That's it. That's it. Because we have all the colors to go, remember? Yes. Yeah. Let's put the other color on the other side. And the other side. I don't have all the white right now. Right there. All right, good job. Now we're gonna do the red. Yes, the American cupcake. Okay. <laughs> that will be me. And we're still and celebrating we July Fourth here at the Marion Center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now you can either leave it like that, or you can try to mix it. How do you want to do? I can, make, I can mix it. Okay, mix it. Go and for remember, it. Remember, the best way to do it is this way. There you go. So you have control. There you go. Mix them, mix the colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Yes. It does. Oh, look that's cool. That. That's a work of art. I like that. There you go. Great, wonderful. Here's it reminds me of an Italian ice that I used to eat in oh, New York. Yes. That's what it looks like, the Italian yes. ices when they would mix the colors. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. 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 She's having more fun. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Nothing wrong with having a little fun, ladies, there right? Go, yeah. Mm-hmm. Go for it. I really want to do it. Fifty colors. Okay, I got a good. There we go. <laughs> All right. Am I talking, dear? You want the thing on the cupcake? Okay? <laughs> when I eat it, you want to come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, come on. The tray's hungry you too. Yay! All right, good job. Are you gonna leave it like that or mix it? Mix it. Okay. Yeah. Sylvia, from right Okay, not a light touch. There you go. Light touch. Excellent job. All right, good job. Okay, you want to sprinkle that? Mm -hmm. There you go. Oops. That one. Mm -hmm. And I come. Now it's Anna's turn. Come on down, Anna. Go for it, Anna. Let me see the code. Send me that code. It can be circles like that or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can put one color more than the other. Don't be afraid, Anna. You don't have anything to it. Okay, good, yeah. Another color. You gonna mix it too? Oh, you're gonna mix it doesn't really matter then how you put it, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Good. Here's the blue. Okay, that's this. Mm-hmm. And I think that's <laughs> Yeah, you want more blue now? Okay, give me a fake push. You have a lot of blue. Here it goes. Oh, wow. There you go. That's it. You remember to pick it up. It's easy. You have control of it. Nice and nice. Light touch. Light touch. All right. Very you nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the dancing cupcake. <laughs> you want to dance on this one? So this is new flair. Like that. Okay, put a little more. Good job. Awesome. Okay. Okay, guys. Now those right. are delicious looking cupcakes. Let's pull these babies up. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Let's pull the babies up. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sylvia. I think Sylvia her focus has more fun. I think she is too. I think Marty sees it. Oh, hey guys. So this is our art. Our food art. 
I hope Miss Mike is proud of us for trying. Yes. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Did you. A... Bye. Bye. Please, thank you. Please drive through. This was awesome. Awesome, ladies. I admit I'm a little over emotional. You're doing culinary arts without me, but I'm so proud. You even used real piping bags. Not those little plastic things I sell at Walmart. You use real professional piping bags. Nice commentary on the filming too, Miss Jamie. Nice touch. Love and miss you guys bunches. Can't wait to be there again.